Has your doctor ever told you that you needed a hysteroscopy with DNC? Maybe you had abnormal bleeding or you had a polyp or fibroid that your doctor wanted to remove? Well, if you've had that experience, today we're going to talk about what the procedure is and why it's done. If that sounds good to you, continue watching. Well, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. DuPont. I'm a board certified gynecologic oncologist and today we're going to talk about a surgery procedure that's very common. It's called a hysteroscopy in DNC. If you're new here, please click the like button below or subscribe if you haven't already to get more videos in the future and to show me that these videos are very helpful for you. All right, well, a hysteroscopy with DNC is often done in the operating room, and that's because a lot of times it'll cause a little bit more pain than an office biopsy. Now, I'll do a second video on office endometrial biopsy, but today we're going to focus on the hysteroscopy with DNC. So what is it? So we do it because, you know, you have abnormal bleeding or you have polyps or fibroids, and your doctor wants to remove them to make sure that there's no cancer or precancer changes, or maybe just to treat your abnormal bleeding or irregular bleeding. The procedure is very easy. Your doctor may give you a medicine to take before surgery that may soften your cervix. Usually that's an oral tablet that you take. And then your doctor will schedule you for the procedure usually at a hospital or surgery center. When we do the hysteroscopy and DNC, the first part is hysteroscopy. And that's just a simple instrument that has a camera where we can actually look inside the uterus. And then the second part is to get a biopsy or scraping or something called a DNC. Again, this is normally done for abnormal bleeding, irregular bleeding, fibroids, or polyps. We also do it for patients that had maybe a miscarriage or problems with the pregnancy where they had some tissue retained. And it has been done also to evaluate fertility like if you're having trouble getting pregnant, sometimes they'll do a hysteroscopy to see if there's anything like scarring that's happening in your uterus. The first step is to put a speculum in the vagina. And most people know what a speculum is because if you've had a pap test, you've had a speculum. It's a little instrument. It can be plastic or metal. It usually looks like this. There's different sizes and shapes, but that speculum is used to open up the vagina so that we can see the cervix. And then your doctor will put a tenaculum. It's an instrument that looks like this. It has kind of a little prong at the end that we use to grasp the cervix. And what we'll do is we'll put this on the anterior lip or posterior lip, depending on the position of your uterus, and we'll use it to pull so that we can dilate the opening of the uterus. Once the uterus is dilated, then your doctor will insert the hysteroscope. So it goes up inside the uterus so that you can see the fundus or the top of the uterus and usually we want to see if there's any polyps or fibroids or anything that's causing a patient to have abnormal bleeding or problems. Once the hysteroscopy is done then the camera is removed and I, I must also mention that when we do the hysteroscopy usually we'll put some type of fluid medium. You can use saline or there's other hysteroscopic fluids that you can use to distend the cavity. But that part is very easy. And then the second part is to get a biopsy. There are some fancy hysteroscopes that allow us to do kind of resection of masses or polyps at the time of hysteroscopy. And so sometimes we'll do what's called a visual DNC if there's no findings, no polyps, no masses, or nothing to remove. The second part is the DNC, which is dilation and curatage. D is for dilate, and that's where your doctor will dilate the cervix a little bit more so a lot of times to get the hysteroscope in we do have to dilate a small amount to be able to get the instrument in and the instruments are various sizes some are very small some a little bit larger depending on the reason for the hysteroscopy and then the C is for curatage and that's when your doctor will get a biopsy of the lining of the uterus now if you've had you know a miscarriage um, your doctor may do something called a vacuum curatage and that's to remove products of conception and that's usually do, done with a plastic instrument that, that sucks a lot of tissue out. Once the procedure is complete, then your doctor will send the specimens to the pathologist and they'll look at it under the microscope to see if there's any cancer or precancer changes. The procedure is usually done as an outpatient, so most of my patients, you know, they go home the same day, they go back to work, usually the next day, and some women may have a little bit of cramping or bleeding, but most patients tolerate this procedure very well. And what are some of the complications of the procedure? Of course, it can cause pain. You know, anytime we do a procedure, it can cause discomfort. We usually will do the hysteroscopy in the operating room with the DNC if someone has like a scarred cervix or something called cervical stenosis, and that's where the opening is scarred. So for that, a lot of times we have to use some more instruments to dilate the cervix. So you, you may have some pain. You of course will have bleeding. You know, I tell patients to expect some spotting for several weeks. Sometimes if I have someone that's having menstrual cycles, their cycle may start at a regular time and then they may have more bleeding and that's usually because their cycle started and they're having bleeding from the 
receiver. So your doctor may tell you if you're bleeding more than one pad an hour for two straight hours to give the obvious a call. So in terms of complications, there's pain, there's bleeding, there's also infection. You most likely will get some antibiotics before. Um, your doctor will, you know, ask you to monitor your temperature and if you have any um, pain that's not getting better to let them know. Other complications would be uterine per perforation. That's not very common, but because the instruments we use in the operating room are metal, sometimes they can poke a hole through the uterus. Now the uterus is a muscle, so a lot of times it'll heal without any problems. But if your doctor does suspect that you had a uterine perforation during the procedure, they may want to do a second surgery called a laparoscopy to look inside the abdomen to make sure that there's no internal bleeding or damage to any of the organs that are close by the uterus. Another complication is tears of the cervix or lacerations, not very common. And then another one of course is scarring, whether it's scarring in the cavity of the uterus or scarring in the opening after the procedure. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. So after you've had your DNC, your doctor will usually see you back in the office and go over the results. Typically the pathology report will come back in one to two weeks and, they, and your doctor will go over those reports with you. But the procedure is very safe, it's very common, we do it very often to treat abnormal bleeding, postmenopausal bleeding, irregular bleeding, and then also women that have had miscarriages where maybe some tissue um, was left behind. Well, I hope you learned a lot today about the hysteroscopy of DNC. Watch this next video for more information. And again, if you've had the procedure and you want to share some of your experiences, put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.